Das weiße Band, eine deutsche Kindergeschichte, ist a 2009 film by Austrian director Michael Haneke. The film is interesting as it gives us a glimpse of how previous generations grew up and how the world created the people that became the political monsters that arose in Germany around 1933. Haneke is here to teach us about our past society, about some things we might have forgotten but can still learn from. The film is set in the year 1914 in the small fictional village of Eichwald in northern Germany. The town seems like how we could imagine any small German town of the time. What sets the plot of the film in motion is a crime committed against the town doctor. He's badly injured when a thin wire makes him crash on his horse. The school teacher is both a character in the film and the voice of a protagonist telling us the story as an older man looking back upon his time in the village. We are visiting his memory and he lets us know that everything he remembers and tells us might not be true. An intelligent way for Haneke to remind us that any story and our entire history is made up of alternated and handed over memory. Central to the story is the Baron and the Baroness, the pastor and his family including the children Martin and Clara, the midwife and her son Carly, the school teacher and a fair few others. Haneke gives us a big collection of characters that are all intertwined without any specific focus on one character, which to me can be seen as the main theme of the movie. It's family and the community, and what that can do to us when it's mixed with puritanism, fanatical religion and repression, just to name a few. Haneke is building a narrative with classical horror themes. In 1979, the film critic Robin Wood introduced two terms for analyzing the horror genre. The one and the other. The one is normality, the familiar and safe, where we are happy and in control. It's the suburban neighborhood where the kids bike safely around, where traditionalism, capitalism and the nuclear family resides. The other is the monster, everything that scares us, destabilizes normality and brings life out of balance and order. What we come to realize when we watch the movie closely is that the town kids are the monsters. They are the other, inflicting violence to the one. Haneke is not about showing us the violence. He wants us to keep the psychological fear and experience the consequences. But we do come to see the visual violence when the supposedly sweetheart of a girl, Clara, cold-bloodedly mutilates and kills her father's beloved bird. What we have to remember is that this visual act of violence directly relates back to a scene where Clara is being tormented by her father the pastor, during a confirmation class, and pretty much every other interaction between Clara and her father throughout the film. Wood describes how American movies tradition always makes the other be a monster, and at best a very terrifying one. But in Das Weißband, the other is the children. The children that we usually know to be the pure and innocent, and the rather helpless part of the one. So, it's the story of the parents and adults all around them. Haneke is trying to tell us the story of how the innocent children transform into monsters. Haneke shows us how Puritanism, symbolized by the white ribbon, which relates directly to the title, affects the children. He shows us hard religious indoctrination. We get a sense of what Martin and Clara have to go through on a daily basis. We come to learn of the doctor's sexual abuse of his children, and we see the unfair punishment of Martin after he admits to having had a sexual experience. All throughout the movie there's explanations of what the children go through, and what I believe Haneke wants us to do is stop and think of the consequences of these situations. The movie is shot in black and white and makes no use of non-diegetic sound effects or music. This is interesting as having no added soundtrack is unlike any horror movie. So that pretty much disqualifies Das Weiße Band from being considered a horror film. Surely some of the cinematography qualifies, but without the soundtrack? Maybe that's not the important question. But what's important is what Haneke is trying to show us. He's showing us how we in today's world could create similar situations. If we look around, values and repression is something that's being pushed onto people every day. Another point that Robin Woods brings forth in his essay is how the restoration of the melody and the peace for the one is one of the most important aspects of the horror genre. Traditionally, viewers want the monster to be found and terminated so that normal life can be restored and move on. But Haneke is not a director known to give his audience a traditional, clear, nor satisfying conclusion. Das Weiße Band ends with Carly's mom borrowing a bike and leaving town to talk to the police because Carly has disclosed to her who committed the violence against him. But as we know from the frame of the story, told by the school teacher, the crimes were probably never resolved, at least not legally. Towards the end of the film, we see the doctor closing down his practice in the town. We see the pastor being confronted by the school teacher about his children's potential role in the crimes. And we see the pastor threatening to report the school teacher to the police if he continues with accusations against the children. The reason being that society as it is in Eichwald is repressing reality and does not want grim things to come into the light. Violence, abuse and malevolence are all part of reality but are being repressed. Only the violence of the film briefly brings it into the light of this world 
and then people start moving away to form new lives, likely with the same problems, just elsewhere. So to sum up, Hanukkah has created a dense monster of a film that gives us so much if you watch it carefully, and I can say it took me a few times. During an interview I once heard Hanukkah say something along the lines of, all my films are straightforward if one watches them closely, all the information is in there. But he's also known to have said that an artist is someone who should raise questions rather than give answers, and that he has no message. I really like these quotes by him and I believe that all the information we need for connecting the dots of the plot are there, and the rest is there as a story for interpretation. Das Weiße Band is a great film that will teach you something and stick with you for a time. I think it's a must watch for parents, teachers and children. Hanukkah is reminding us to be aware of how we push our darkness onto each other, what the consequences of that may be, but not how to avoid it. And if you like this video, then please throw a like and a subscribe.